Uh, this is Brennan Marilla. I'm the Chief Commercial and Operating Officer at Osseo Incorporated, and we have the pleasure today of speaking with Dr. Stuart Miller, who is a board-certified orthopedic surgeon and fellowship trained in foot and ankle reconstruction. He has a very busy practice at MedStar Union Memorial in Baltimore, where he teaches residents and fellows, and he is an assistant professor at Johns, Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. Thank you, uh, Dr. Miller, for being with us today. A pleasure to be here. So uh, we, we're going to talk a little bit about the COVID-19 pandemic and, and how uh, uh, surgeons like yourself are, are dealing with this and are managing through this. And I just would love for you to start off by sharing, you know, what's happening in your local healthcare community and how are you personally managing the business of your practice during this difficult time? Uh, well, first off, we, uh, we stopped elective surgeries a couple of weeks ago. Um, we did for first initially, then we were mandated uh, to do so. Uh, it's a good time to be an employed physician, uh, as opposed to we used to have a private practice, and now we're all employed physicians. And so the uh, MedStar health system is, is uh, covering some of these running expenses that must be really piling up for the guys in independent practice. Right. How are you? Uh, how are you able to really manage and engage your your current and and potential patients during this quarantine? Well, the potential patients have to wait uh, unless they've got emergencies. So we're doing emergency surgeries. I did two today. I did one yesterday. I did a very uh, complicated pilon fracture yesterday because we had to. Um, uh, things that can wait, such as the the common affliction, such as the hammer toes and the posterior tip tendons, are going to wait till this quiets down. Right now, it's just urgent and emergent surgeries. Um, and new patients, well, new patient visits are waiting. Patient visits now are very limited for me. I'm only seeing uh, post-op patients and emergencies and uh, the fractures, basically. Other than that, they have to wait. How are you able to do a really good exam on a patient uh, when you're remote like this? You know, that must be a challenge. It, it's a compromise. You, you can't do a good exam. You can look at the foot. You can look for redness and inflammation and things like that. Um, in terms of the physical examination, these things are very sensitive, and uh, they're not working through the computer. But, uh, but certainly, uh, uh, we can get an idea on how they're doing. And, of course, experienced clinicians have a pretty good idea when we're talking to patients, just if they're doing all right and if they can wait a little bit. Right. How will you uh, approach kind of returning back to elective surgeries and, and kind of making up for the, you know, the backlog of cases that must be building right now for you? There's actually some precedence for this. And from what I've been able to discern that it's not like you turn on the spigot, it all comes running back all at once. It's going to happen slowly with a slow buildup. A lot of people who wanted to have their surgery in the spring are going to wait till the fall to have it. And it's going to be a slow kind of pickup. So for companies like yours, it's going to be slow and steady pickup back to return to normal uh, levels, probably not for about uh, four or five months at least. How has this uh, experience um, changed how you will manage your practice uh, on the other side of this pandemic? If at all. I think we'll probably do a little bit more telemedicine than we have been. It's, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to talk to a patient over the phone and not make them drive an hour or two to come in and to see me. Um, other than that, I don't think it's going to change anything all that much. What, uh, any, any practical tips or lessons that you would share with other, other surgeons um, to get through this crisis and what, what, uh, what we're left with uh, on the other side of it? Um, that, uh, you know, the, the hassle of being an employed physician has, uh, has certainly uh, been less uh, of a hassle these days. Um, having a big, a big system behind you has certainly made it a lot easier for me in terms of dealing with this and, and making decisions uh, and financial decisions as well. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just hard. Everyone's just got to weather through it. Um, and we're not doing any elective surgeries yet. Hold off on that. What uh, final question would be, what have you learned about yourself during this stay at home period so far? Retirement's not gonna be so bad, baby. I kind of <laughs> like being at home. So uh, it's, it's not so bad. Uh, I've been working out almost every day. I'm getting bulky, I know you can tell. Um, but but uh, it's, it's, it's okay being at home. 